Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, an image off of your laptop, particularly the C drive. As you can see, I've, I've gone into the startup menu on the laptop, and I'm going to actually um, go and boot the, the uh, laptop off the uh, USB drive. Now the way I got into the startup menu uh, is I basically pressed escape on this HP laptop, uh, and then it gave me the startup menu. You can also press, uh, I think it's F9 on the HP uh, to get up into a uh, boot menu. Or uh, on a Dell, it would be, uh, I believe it's F12, you would get into a, uh, a boot menu as well. Uh, so now I'm going to go into uh, the boot menu. And I'm gonna select the UEFI uh, USB disk. This is the uh, the USB that we inserted that we made uh, in a previous video. So now I'm going to press enter on that. And as you can see, it's going to boot up. It's going to look somewhat like uh, Windows booting up, except it's going to boot into the Windows PE environment. It might take a few minutes, several minutes, depending upon what kind of USB you have. Don't be surprised if you have a USB 2.0. It's going to take a bit longer than a USB 3.0, obviously. Um, so now it's going to execute that uh, start uh, start command um, start net command uh, file, and then basically uh, it executes a couple commands, including the command that you've uh, we've put in before in the previous video, as you can see. Now it's at a command prompt, so we can get started. First, I'm going to find out uh, what drives are available. So. In here, I'm going to go this part. Oops, disk part. Nope, I can't type today. Here we go. Okay, and then uh, you could see list disk. Okay, so there's two disks. There's uh, this zero is the hard drive, and this one is my USB. But more specifically, I want to know what volumes there are. So I'm going to list volume. And as you can see, uh, there's a C drive on, on, uh, on disk uh, zero, my hard drive. Um, it's a, or, or a SSD, actually. Uh, there's the Windows volume, C, and then there's a uh, Windows PE, uh, D, that's my USB drive. Then there's an E uh, uh, partition uh, from the USB drive mounted as E uh, images. And then the recovery in the system, but they're not mounted. Uh, so uh, we don't particularly have to, in this exercise, we don't really have to... Um, image, uh, capture image of the recovery and system because we can actually recreate those on the fly with the script that uh, Microsoft has provided. Then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put the link in the uh, description. Um, so just to show you that this is, the, this is the layout of the disk now and we're just going to capture the C drive to the E drive and we're going to make a directory on the E drive called I don't know, we could call it laptop, we can call it anything you want. Uh, you know, maybe you've done this for your aunt or something, uh, uh, or a family member, uh, other family member, and you can make a, uh, a directory that you want on, the, uh, on your USB, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I just want you to get the basic idea, uh, and then you can kind of, because uh, again, this, this setup might be different on your computer, and, uh, and by the way, before we do anything, if there's anything important on, on your, your computer, on the laptop or, or desktop or whoever, whatever, uh, you should always back it up. Uh, it's very important to, to have some kind of backup system. Uh, I don't know, Carbonite, whatever, uh, back it up to a USB drive, uh, crash plan, et cetera. Um, you should always back it up if, if there's data. Uh, this is assuming that, uh, you know, the reason why I'm doing this is um, to image the, the laptop 
in like a new state. Right now it's it's new, and these partitions are new on it, the, the factory partitions. Uh, so that so therefore if I have a uh, a failure, I could just uh, you know within the software and so on, uh, I can just uh, take the uh, image that I made and reapply it to the laptop uh, very quickly instead of having to uh, reinstall the software, the operating system, etc. So anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to exit this part. Okay. And then I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to basically uh, go to the E drive. Okay. I'm going to make a directory for the images, make a directory called image, uh, actually called laptop. You make this anything you want, of course. But this is command prop. The command line is going to be different then, of course. Uh, it's going to include the, the path that you made. Uh, so anyway, um, we'll do a, um, a dissim command. Dissim will be the uh, command that we'll do the capture with. And then it's capture image image file okay and then here uh, we'll do uh, the path to the um, the path to the images um, so we'll do an e colon slash laptop that's the directory we just made and then we, we can call this uh, anything you want, really. I, I just usually call it uh, the drive letter of, of the um, drive that we're imaging, we're making the image of. So C period WIM. OK. All right. And then we have to specify the capture directory, which is going to be the uh, uh, C drive, so capture, directory, I don't think it really matters, but I like to put it as the, uh, the same capitalization and so on, just to be accurate, um, C, and then slash, and then the name, Okay, and then we can give it a name. Name anything you want. Uh, my laptop, or whatever desktop, or whatever you, whatever you're capturing. And then we push enter. Okay, then it's going to basically go through some kind of uh, pre-flight check on that uh, on that uh, drive that you're capturing. And then it's going to start the countdown. Uh, you're going to see a, a status bar um, to let you know the progress of the imaging. Uh, it's going to take a while, so don't be surprised if uh, you have to come back to this in like an hour or so, or whatever, uh, depending upon how big your image is. Uh, typically, I found that it might take uh, about an hour or so um, on a uh, on a uh, um, a device that that really doesn't have a lot of software or data on it. Again, usually you want to um, limit this to only um, new installations. Maybe you, you know you put you you install your Windows on it. Uh, you install your programs, a couple of programs on it, just to get and and device drivers, and then you image from that. Um, and you don't really want to record. Uh, data onto this image. This is just so that it kind of gets you out of hot water uh, if uh, something should go wrong with your operating system or uh, and or programs. You can just quickly take this USB out um, and uh, provided that you've backed up your data um, somewhere else like a Carbonite or a crash plan or a USB drive or etc. 
you could take this out and re-image, apply the image that we're, we're creating now to your device uh, and get you up and running so that you can put your data back on and, and get up and running quickly instead of having to go through installing the operating system and the programs, et cetera. Um, anyway, I hope you like my video. Um, uh, please understand that uh, I've, I've, I really don't have a script on this, uh, on this process. Um, I'm kind of winging it as I go. But uh, hopefully this is helpful. I've explained it well. And let me know. Um, thanks again for watching the video. And have a great day.